Okay, I have eaten dinner, and it's time to do some spicy stuff. I believe the, yep, the shrines are now on the map, which is cool. I know where to find them. They don't matter if I can't get in without the spikes. Um, but I know where to find the shrines now, so, you know, got that going for me. Uh, but I think I'm gonna progress um, and go to area zero, which is where? Ah, right here. Uh, but just for fun, I'm gonna go there on foot. Because Katie, my editor, said uh, that can help you get shinies, not fast traveling. <laughs> really? D dude, are you seriously? My good man. What the? F what is this? Does it just take you here if you get too close? It does appear to do that, which is weird. So now I'm just gonna, just gonna go to the zero gate. I should stop at a Pokemon Center on the way though. I feel like if I go in there, I'm gonna wanna have like, good way to catch, uh, catch any Paradox Pokemon in there, you know? Big heel that I climb without issue, haha. <laughs> I said climb without issue. I said climb without issue. Climb without issue. Jesus. Ay, my godness. Where am I? I have not traveled as far as I thought I had. What's this fancy Pokemon? Rock rough. Wait, is this the one that no, no, you stupid game. Is this the one that has own tempo? To, to get dusk form? This is going real slow. This might, I, I feel like I saw the webmaster of CRB, uh, Joe Merrick, tweet that there was a terrestrial rock rough that turned into that had own tempo, which is the ability necessary to make it dusk form. Peatball? Oh, it didn't get to attack. <laughs> okay. Rock, rough, rock. Okay. That is the own tempo one. Oh, look at that. I, I didn't even know where it was. I, I just saw it mentioned and that was it. That's fun. No, 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 no. This is the first Eevee I've seen. It ain't an Eevee! Are you kidding me? I knew Ditto did this! But I still need it, I, I needed an Eevee! Well. Crap. <laughs> I mean, it still does, no, it copies my stats, doesn't it? Crap. There is no way that would have, that would have done that little, right? I don't know, I, I, I have to catch it now. I was going to this Pokemon Center to buy Quick Balls, but my problem is like, I can't really hit it, you know? Especially since Ditto doesn't even copy the HP. Crap. <laughs> I was trying to go to Area Zero, and now I'm trying to catch an Armor Rouge, which is actually a Ditto. Yeah, I'm healing every turn. Just give me a Crit Capture. Please, I can't really hurt it. There's the Crit Capture. Finally. <laughs> Okay, let's buy quick balls. That's what I was gonna do <laughs> at the Pokemon Center. That's parking lot is right there. <laughs> oh, by the way, I should shout out the fact that I have some new merch that's limited edition. The Team Sky hoodie is back in black. Oh, hey, huh. And the Team Sky shirt is now in pastel red. Additionally, the base form Mighty Plushie, my little mascot, which is the best selling single item I've ever sold, which is crazy, is also back. But there are not unlimited pre-orders. We ordered set quantities of these items so we could ensure they arrive before Christmas, which means we sell them until they sell out. 
and they're gonna sell out. So grab one or two or all three at mnjtvmerch.com while they're still available. There's a zigzagging path, or I could just go up this way. Are any of you spying me? No. This is it. It's so reflective. What is happening? <laughs> Area zero. This is the zero gate. This means some researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea. Really reflective, dude. It's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Coridon was born, or something like that. You'll be happy I can finally come back home. Not that I care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. The way home. Ooh! Mucho interesante. Just kidding, I know it's muy interesante. Muy is very, mucho is a lot. I tick. Oh, kind of dark in here. There's our girl. Hold on, Michael. Aaron said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once she heard she'd get to battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. <laughs> You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Arvin, you've had character development. Let's not regress. Looking like a guy wants to get beaten in a battle. More importantly, why is it so dark? And where's the awesome Pokemon? It is weird that the lights are off. Last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now. Oh. Well, now they're on. But why? I, I turned them on. Yep. That was expected. <laughs> Seems like they were on power saving mode. hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Uh, I guess, my name's Penny. Well, hey, we never got to talk, actually. I'm Nimona, I'm in class 1A. You must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? <laughs> you talk like way too much. <laughs> the director introduced us. When you need a, when you, the director introduced us. When you need someone with good tech, she's a no brainer. Also, Penny here agreed in a second when she heard it was to help Michael. Does she have a crush on me? Not really the adventuring type, but I owe you Michael and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old fashioned like that. <laughs> and of course, everyone knows me, Arvin. My loves include my Mabostiff and cooking and biometric identification in process. Hello, Michael, I've been expecting you. It seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Indeed, everyone here has Pokemon over level 60. <laughs> uh, sorry, who are you? <laughs> Look at Arvin's face! <laughs> That's my mom, probably. Wait, that's Professor Sada? Nimona, student ID number 805C011, 001. And Penny, student ID 803B121. I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, it, maybe not in person. Exactly. Armin, did you uh, tell your mom about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down into the great crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you can see to your right. Interesting. Uh, mom? Please proceed below. Damn. She is so crappy to him. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. Oof. That's that's tough. I feel so bad for Arvin. I can see why he's kind of a, like him being a crank is like perfectly logical, you know? Biometric identification process, identities confirmed, access granted to the lower level. It opened for us automatically. Not quite, looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. 
Once you step through, you will be above area zero. Michael, you have brought Koridon with you? Yeah. Kind of hard to go anywhere without him. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Koridon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach area zero. Wait, isn't there like an elevator or something? Koridon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Railroading people into stuff, just like always. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Let's go! Nimona, you don't have Koridon. Is she like incapable of fear or what? Yeah. So you better go too. Ready for the worst? That's all we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon in yours and we'll be off. Ooh, cutscene. Oh. He doesn't want to go back. Hmm. Scared of heights? That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder. No need to be scared if we go together. How does that logic work? <laughs> Wait, don't leave without me! <laughs> oh wait, no! This isn't safe! Oh my gosh! What does it look like down here? Whoa. I wasn't expecting it to have so many trees. Well, we lived. Oh, no, we lost Nimona. Rest in peace. And now I'm back here again. Uh, I think I might have died once or twice there. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? Huh? Oh. It chose to go back into its ball? Oh, I'm just hungry or something. Wait a second, where's the student console girl? Nimona! What, she's gone, you don't think she, everyone, you have to see this. Area zero is amazing. Come on already! Guess your ability would be on tempo, huh? <laughs> she cannot be intimidated! Biometric identification in process. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. Vital signs all within normal range. Are you a real person? It appears you're able to make the descent without being harmed. Uh, yeah, sure, smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? That is good. I had concerns you might fail, given the crudeness of the only available access method. Uh-huh. I think your mom's sarcasm detector needs fixing. You're worried about us? That's so sweet. You should now make your way to me at Zero Lab in the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks, installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. She's locked in? Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. Okay. At each station, you'll be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into that lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? What? Like a video game? No. Come on, time to find our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. Okay, so Karidon won't come out. Which kind of makes sense. There are Pokemon in here. I think the only one I haven't caught is Jumpluff. This music is very different. That's kind of alien. Oh, what, oh, get, what, what was that? <laughs> oh, hello. The music is so ominous. Oh my gosh, this is like, what is that?
This is the insight of the great creator of Paul Day, or is you. Feels different from just seeing in our textbooks. It's so intense. Yeah, Coridon's hiding. I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They always come through if you're a real sob story. Why don't you just call the professor? She's down here. Don't you get, get along or something? Come on, you two. This is adventure. Let's just have a good time. I guess maybe I could call a flying taxi if need be, but I don't intend on it. This music is so otherworldly. Sounds like almost ultra space music. What is that? Oh, is that terrestrial crystal around the trees? I want to get the goodies, but it is definitely not as convenient not having Coridon. Wild Vaporeon? Hydro pumps a TM now? Oh, too deep of water. Oh God, oh God. I go right by the edge here. Wait, is this a dead end? Am I supposed to jump down? Maybe I am. And they followed me. I was kind of hoping I'd see one of them jump off with me, but I guess not. There's one of the research stations. Whoa, that's so far. You want me to do all that without Coridon? Whoa, yeah, I slide down the hills. I'm a boss. I bet that's what we're looking for. I see one of the buildings the professor was talking about. What are they called? Radish rations? Arvin, it's very obviously research stations. <laughs> research stations. Oh, well, I was close. <laughs> oh, you have such a great memory, Penny. What are you talking about? It's research stations. This is a common phrase. What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Yeah, fair enough, Penny. I'll give you that. Shreen. Ooh, that's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know that species could be found here. Let's take it on. Wait, why can't I just catch it? It won't let me catch it. Fine. <laughs> I, I didn't get to do anything. <laughs> Just the immediate drill run. I mean, it makes sense. She knows what she's doing. There are gonna be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here. I don't know, Nimona. Maybe if there are, you could let me catch them. There was something? Please, you've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. I literally didn't do a thing. <laughs> oh, my feet are in the concrete. Lovely. Okay. There's a bed in the corner. Wow, are these ancient ruins? Nimona, I love you. Stop being brain dead. They look far too recent for that. Yeah, there's literally a wheelie chair. Appears you have reached your first research station without incident. The facility was constructed 87 years ago. Okay, so it's older than I thought. As a way station for those surveying area zero. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Michael, if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel. Okay, so I guess that's a way to heal. But I've done like no, I've had, my Pokemon have not taken a single hit or used a single move. <laughs> All right, well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. What was the teleporter? Wait. What was the teleporter? Ah, fast travel within area zero, it seems. I almost never saw my mom in my whole life. Oh, is it time for the backstory reveal? Penny, shush. She was always busy with work, hardly ever came home. I cooked for myself, cleaned for myself, and Bostiff was the only one I had to talk to. Gosh, that's awful. Yeah, I don't really know her at all, even if she is my mom. Try not to think too much about it. Trying to just, oh, this is going fast, but the truth is I would rather just have, Jesus. You see, at emails sometimes those stop, then she appears out of the blue. Some family, right? But it, we're not here to judge anything. I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. Ah, oh, I was also giving you a hard time. Sorry, Penny. My name's Penny. No, you're actually pretty nice for a little pipsqueak. D don't call me pipsqueak, you big lunk. That's the spirit, you two. <laughs> Last time I came to the Great Crater, I was trying to go see my mom. I got about this far, then I got attacked by some kind of creature I'd never seen before. What kind of Pokemon? That's a wild Farigaraf! Penny, you're getting kind of close to it. I could just run into it. I want to catch the Farigaraf. 
because that's cool. Oh boy, this music is something. I caught the photograph. All right. So Arvin was attacked by some kind of rampaging thing. Don't know what it is. Right, really? I suppose I, it should be surprising if I captured the leader of their pack. The others would have something to say. I haven't caught you. What the heck? No, not you, not a Corviknight crotch. A Garganical, wow. Spicy wild Pokemon. Oh, look at me, I'm a surfer. Land border. I board the land. Lots of talent flame. Okay, should be able to get one of those at any time. That freaking Corviknight cry cutting off. Second research station, about time too. Phew, let's head in, take a breather. Thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. <laughs> I'm full of surprises. <laughs> I, I spent all my time Pokemon battling, but never trained my body. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Oh! Jigglypuff, good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here too. My gosh, so cute. No, don't, don't do it, Penny. Ooh. What the? Ah! Michael, it's battle time. <laughs> Can I not catch it? I want to catch it. Yeah, it literally won't let me catch it. Okay, fine. I know it's typing. I'm trying to figure out how to fit everybody on the camera. Oh, it took that well. I'll just, I'll just keep doing this. Come on, Umbreon, finish it off. Sweet. Screen table. The wild screen tail. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. Definitely kind of ferocious for a Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. My Pokedex has been updated. I could have caught it. I feel like I should put uh, Toad Scroll in front. This looks pretty much the same as the first one. Seems like the wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That that Pokemon? I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon is one of these. Huh? What's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended, f descended further into Area Zero, we begin to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. We wonder if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat from a time. Remember the sir? I, I think I read these early on. No surpassing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Dawn Fan, yet the sheer differences, such as its size and the shape of its back, set it apart as do its great tusks. Monsters of Area Zero, like, aren't actually Pokemon? Don't really know. What do you think, Michael? I think they really are just Pokemon. Yeah, same, I mean, they look different, sure, but they use moves in battle like the Pokemon we know. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor? Some of the life forms that you are seeing, some uh, some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past, long lost to us. Ancient Pokemon? What? That's awesome! Oh come on! There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab. I mean, literally, we revived fossils. <laughs> the Zero Lab where I'm located contains a time machine. <laughs> it summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. Excuse? It's the thing my mom spent forever researching down here. She actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. Cost? A time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It's theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for being such a human, or being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Oh, that's horrifying. Mom, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... 
Possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It'd be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Michael, please use the central panel here and disable the another lock. Okay. The mystery unfolds. I want Agari up front. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Michael. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one that she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Thank you. I am going to remove your leftovers because you're very useful. Very annoying when I'm trying to catch Pokemon. <laughs> I guess I'll give you the soft sand. I've got nine of them somehow. Actually, that's probably a good one. Bright powder's fun. I wanna look at the, can I like use the Scarlet book? Not really, okay. Let's keep going. Let's find out what's in here. Keep going down. What are your parents like, Nimona? My parents? Normal, I guess. Serious? I even I know about he's on the board of the Rotom phone company. Oh. How do you know about that? Everyone knows that he's famous. I guess I looked into him for my own reasons too. So Nimona's actually some pampered little princess from a rich family? Uh no way, that's so not my thing. Oh yeah. I guess you could say mother and father were like hands off, but in a good way. Big sister are pretty take over the business. Okay. Call them mother and father? That is some pampered little princess stuff right there. Ah, cállate, Penny. What, is your family super normal then? My family is unbelievably annoying. <laughs> super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud and cleanly. He makes up weird things. Pen Pen, he's the most annoying guy in the world, period. He's the worst. The real downer for your dad, having his own daughter describe him like that. Don't you dare take his hide. Uh, Michael, how about you? Your mother seems super nice. You met her? Yep, got a glimpse of an amazing looking sandwich she made too. I really wish I could have seen that. That tasted great. I wouldn't know, Karaidon ate it. He needed it more than I did, though. Food appears to be completely optional for me. Pardon me? Ooh, let's get moist. Or not. Mask or rain, I don't have you. The water is shallow, Agari. I'm standing in it. You don't really need this. I got a masquerade. Aren't you proud of me? All right, let's keep going. Ooh, at very slow paces. Bella Bolt. Already got one of you, buddy. I I haven't seen the next one, so I don't know if I'm going the right direction. Oh, never mind. Take that back. I know I'm going the right direction now. Wait, I never caught that Braviary. I wish to catch it now. Oh, there's one right behind me! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're in another research station. We're getting an attacked again? Something has attacked us at every single research station. Oh, my hair. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Literally, something's gonna jump at us again, 100% guaranteed. Oh, Penny, such a worry wart. <laughs> see, see, <laughs> Nimona's like, oh. <laughs> Wait a sec, this is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was an ancient Pokemon all along? We've battled one of these before already, right, it looks seriously strong. And well, Michael and I are old pros when it comes to Titans, leave this to us. Yeah, Arvin. I wonder when I'm gonna get to actually catch them. Great. Tusk. Oh, that was easy. See that? Victory's ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herba Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of these Pokemon before our crater get together? Jealous? Uh, if we've got things from literal ancient times roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Is a Professor Sada doing anything to keep them under control? How could she let this happen? Yeah. Right, because it's not like oh so brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. Come on, Michael, let's get into that research station. Ugh, man, so much lore. 
And made it to station number three. How we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Mm -hmm. You feeling rough, Penny? No, it's not that. Just been thinking, ever since the professor mentioned that time machine, the Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the past, right? So what about Coridon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those ancient Pokemon? You're right. Huh. I think you're onto something. This kind of giving off ancient vibes. Its name even sounds past E. Wait a sec, I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin, you had Coridon's ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Uh, you still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star pupil. Guess I've got no choice then but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon Coridon, that is, was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor! Rhydon, which I entrusted to Michael, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the time machine. Seriously? For analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I discovered was in fact an ancient form of Cyclozar, the Pokemon still commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Any other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Coridon. Two? Huh? You mean there's another one? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be reunited with our Coridon. A heartwarming family reunion? Or are they enemies? Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'll be when getting the family back together all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that's sounds nice. We could proceed, Michael. Please disable the next lock. I feel like the other ones. Why else would Coridon be afraid? I feel like other one. Is that the one I'm gonna fight? I gotta say, for all this game's performance problems, the story's fascinating to me. I'm I'm far more interested by the story in this game than any other Pokemon game. That won't come out of its Pokeball. Yeah. Where I'm supposed to be going. It was just some weird Pokemon on our home. We all lived together at the lighthouse lab for a little while. Mom made me promise to keep it a secret, and I had to take care of it too. But well, you know so much about it. And then one they cried and just went nuts against some wild Pokemon. The f oh, that's a wild scream tail! I feel like I lost my mom because of Coridon. Let's just fight. It's huge. It's as big as me. My first one. Look at that! There's only been one reported sighting this Pokemon that resembles a mysterious creature depicted in an old expedition journal. This is fine, I wanted to catch this thing anyways. Awesome. Zvilos. Dang, guy's harsh. Huh. Oh, that just continued something that got interrupted. Ah, these things. So many Pokemon I have to catch. Maybe I should stop doing this. It is 9.40 at night, and I don't want to be up late trying to do the plot stuff. Maybe I should just prioritize Getting done with the story. Whoa. Oh, all these huge, gorgeous crystals that go all the way to the bottom. This is sick. One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Good call, watch your step. The professor's down there somewhere. That's fine, totally fine. looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here like the stories say. Yeah, this place is like something from a whole other world. It's giving me journey to the center of the earth vibes. Makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. That just mirror to the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terastalize. They do. There's gotta be some sort of connection. There is. One way to find out. I learned it in history class. Y'all, were you not paying attention? Gibble? One of them just fell? Oh yeah, these Glamora are everywhere. Pardon me, Garganical. This is so cool. I saw that and I was like, oh, a raid den. Crydon came to our age through the time machine. We lived here while with the professor along with another one of its kind. 
That seems to be the story. So we brought it back home, kind of, or to its second home at least. I guess this place should be familiar to its sure. Oh, that's great, a chance to unwind and bask in the familiarity. Doesn't exactly jive with how it's acting all spooked since we got here. Doesn't seem eager to come out of its ball anytime soon either. Really? I thought it was just scared because we were so high up. Huh, I said it was scared of heights. Uh, given how Karina was acting earlier, I, I think something bad happened to it here. Don't you get all shaky just being a place that you've got bad memories of? Same for me when I was being ignored by everyone in class, just my school made me want to hide away somewhere so I know how it feels. Oh, Penny. You got hurt down here in Area Zero like Mabostiv? Can't know for sure, but it doesn't change it into its battle form anymore, right? So I think it's possible. It's so sad, we gotta do something to make it feel better. You know, I'm not just saying it because I super badly want to battle Karaidon. <laughs> Seriously, well, at least you said it, not one of us. I mean, you're kind of unbelievable in a mostly good way. All right. Last research station. There's an item up there that I can't get to because Karaidon is afraid. What is it afraid of? Is it the other Karaidon? That Garganical stuck on a rock? So many Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Well, what happened? This one's a mess. Looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Guys, are you scared us? Sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. What? Um, again? I'm so thought that you're creeping us out. Hello, child. Children in, child in, children, children. Is she an AI? That professor must be having some, some weird connection problems or something. Definitely weird at least. It's like, I don't know. She meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps and all. Screen's dark. But I guess I'll press the button. All locks disabled. Ah, ah, hello, can you hear me now? Please forgive my previous transmission, there seems to be some signal interference. That's not what it was. Mean Arvin. The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way now to Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. What is going on? Definitely something off, yeah. Dramatic flare? No, shut up, Nimona. <laughs> you go see a doctor, that's just not right. Pretty sure that call was really, ah, never mind, it's nothing. What's wrong, Arvin? You seem kind of down. I don't know how things turn out, I'm counting on you, Michael. I'm supposed to go this way? Well, whenever I decide to come back here, it'll be very easy to get Glamora. I'm like, I'm spooked. And we also have to pee. Oh, wait! Come back, come back! Why didn't that work? Fluttermane! Please just catch with the quick ball, because I don't know what type you are. Crap. It's fine. No. None of that. Are you... There's no way you're Psychic Fairy. Ghost Fairy? Oh, sweet. Have we finally reached the deepest part? Need it. Ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are for real? <laughs> yeah, right. That's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? Wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? Crystals here in the area Zero possess a peculiar energy. Energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. Huh? It's the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. 
entire building's been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Silly Arvin. Professor implied something important about Terra orbs just now. They're made from crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Yeah, were you guys not paying attention in history class? Indeed, though not many know it. It was in history class! To disable all four locks, the gate to the Zero Lab should open now for you. Once you open the gate, you will be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. It will likely make a break for freedom. Dangerous Pokemon? The four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. I'm assuming I won't be able to catch whatever runs out. So because of that, let's put my strongest hitter in front. Open the gate, yes. Where is she? Hold it! Oh, we're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon, Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we have Coridon help? Yeah, if Coridon were like how when we first saw it at the Inland Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it battle. Uh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And it can't enter its battle form in the first place. It's really strong. I know it is. It ate all those Herba Mystica we found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family too, right? Pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Oh. Go on, Michael, let Coridon out. Okay. You okay, buddy? All right, come on, Michael. Now that we've got Coridon ready, it's time to open that gate. What's gonna happen? Oh my gosh, the other one! It's happening. Oh, he's so scared. Wrong. Are you bummed that your heartwarming family union got cut off so quickly? How dense are you? Are you joking? Thank you. There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Nimona, I love you, but you're so dense. Just look at Karida on the poor thing's terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. That other Pokemon's giving off some real bad vibes. Not that you should worry a thing about any of that. So we get you back into your battle form, I'm sure you'll be you'll be going toe to toe against that jerk. If you know, if you want to. Sorry, guess that doesn't really help, huh? I think that other Coridon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the professor warned us to watch out for. But didn't the professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come out from the inside? Oh. There they are. Oh. There's a lot of Amoongus Amoongus. We're surrounded. And it's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome, Matt. 
There's no way we can handle this many. Don't tell me they're all ancient Pokemon. We've got a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. Guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Michael. Let's do this together. What? Why does he keep looking over at Lycoron? <laughs> Every time I hit it, it looks at Lycoron like, you seeing this? <laughs> Gosh dang it. This, this story is so enthralling and the goofy mechanics of the game itself just can really snap you out of it. Wow, they're strong. This is a worthwhile challenge. Glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Oh, the mushrooms. Um. Yeah, I can't. I can't catch him. Action cam. Action cam. Wow, crazy. The fly cam. Whoa. Oh, it's got four legs. The ancient past must have been terrifying. Uh, they're running away. And let's Pokemon get out. We're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hands. We gotta go after him, Penny. Why me? Wait, ha ha. Yeah, hold on, Nimona. Why do I get the feeling you're enjoying this? It's me and Arvin. The two of them can handle their part. At least the crowd's been thinned out now. I guess it's us to deal up to us to deal with what's left. Fluttermane. Wait. Both Icicle Spear and Crunch are effective. Icicle Spear is the one we use. All right. I like how they, the Pokemon cry of like, with like, rah, like celebration of victory. See, the power of friendship has perfectly in sync. Well, thanks to our Titan hunting together. Still scared, huh? You were, you might have to face that other one of your kind. Let me take on some of the burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and my boss if here can handle them. So Michael, you take your partner there and go take care of business. Got it. I see you've gotten some faith, faith in us at last. Bossif can't wait to battle either. Oh! Right on. Really ruined my whole childhood, you know? But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits make me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers if you just use them. You've got us too. So, so, don't you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave. Stand up and fight. Who should go first? If I'm gonna have to fight another Coridon, am I gonna catch that Coridon? I know it's dragon time. I'm probably fine. It is you. Human presence detected within zero labs? What? Is she dead? Deactive. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Coridon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Sada. Then who are you? I'm an artificial intelligence the Professor created imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I'm an AI powered robot. The real Professor I 
incident? Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for the Coridon to survive and thrive. That is why she threw herself in front of your Coridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Michael, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero, La Zero Lab and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Holy crap. Professor Sada wasn't a neglectful parent. She was dead. What is this? Well, here, we'll take us down. Step inside. That's dark. I'm, like, kind of amazed they did that. Michael, it is truly a great leap to, to me that you came. I'll answer any questions you may have. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have asked this question. Human, wait, humanity does not in fact possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. The crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. What happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the discretion of the research station, her physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I'm afraid that this fact may be difficult for her son, Arvin, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. What is this time machine? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends a Pokeball to different points on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When she was alive, Professor Sada had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, what you might call ancient Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw ancient Pokemon to this time. What is it you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon in harmony. These Pokemon's powers seem to stem from a primal energy of the ancient past. This energy has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this modern age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. We've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. They do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. So the original Professor Sada was misguided. She was fine with the e ecological disaster. She was so obsessed with the past, the ancient Pokemon. She was like, oh, that, don't worry about that. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. Any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original Professor ever devised. Michael, you've become a formidable trainer, now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Sada once cherished. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I, ecological disaster. Bad. I appreciate your willingness to help. And there's an Ultra Ball in the middle of the floor. Because that's... <laughs> stupid. Man. Whoa. Oh. Behold. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. This is crazy. What am I going to have to You know what? Let's put you in front. Do I have a Thunder Wave TM? I do. I, th I feel like I might want this because I don't know what's about to happen. Stop the time machine. You will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Scarlet Book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. She loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal here, you'll be able to stop the time machine. There's just one issue. If you try to stop the time machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. 
My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Holy crap. Okay, I'm not doing Coridon. I'm about to fight you. Oh, I hope I don't lose. How strong is she gonna be? <laughs> ID confirmed. Professor Sada access grading initiating merge. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shut down. Command overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to you now, Michael. AI switching to Sada mode. Please defeat me. At last. Last my dream. Oh! Hi. It stands up like that? I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. 66, okay, this thing I know is bug fighting type, which means even if I terrestrialize, I'm at a disadvantage, so I have to swap. Yep. This is the power the ancient past holds. Splendid, isn't it? Air slash should be enough. I am still faster and I missed the air slash. Air slash is quite, I can't believe how much air slash has let me down in this game. <laughs> it's, what is it, 95? That's infuriating. If the freaking air slash had hit, this thing would be dead. Please let this armor cannon be enough. Okay, okay. This is interesting, child. Do you actually understand ancient Pokemon's weaknesses? Oh uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've been on the internet. <laughs> Brute Bonnet. That's the Amoongus. This gives me a chance to set up. I'm, am I playing on set battle style? No, because why fight fair when the fate of the region is at stake? <laughs> Ooh, your sucker punch failed. If it sucker punches again, I can set up two dragon dances. I think I'm gonna do that. I, the kind of, I like how it dances. You fool. Okay, well the sucker punching makes me feel better because it would have probably would have gone for that even if I hadn't switched. Do I get greedy? Oh, I think I get greedy. Didn't sucker punch this time. So maybe that was a mistake. Payback. Oh, we take that. Did more than I thought, but.
Or plus three attack and plus three speed. I should be able to kill everything now. Scream tail. Yeah. Obviously a very tight, but I'm faster. Fantastic. Okay, we're in good. We're go in good shape. Fluttermane. It's so dramatic how far the ball falls. Okay, uh, Icicle Spear again. My heart is pounding. Sandy Shocks, keep current. Every time I see this, I think of Sandy Cheeks. Oh, it looks cool. It doesn't make any sense, but it looks cool. Electric ground, right? There we go. Last is the main Karaidon, right? Oh no! Oh, it's not the Karaidon. Everything's proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero. It's roaring Moon. Oh my god, it's so cool! What is that? What? I don't know what that is, but I also know this is a dragon type. Oh, it's so awesome. <laughs> but it's dead now. What? Some sort of error has occurred here. Re recalculating from critical damage. Way to go, buddy. I'm so glad I found you on that mountainside. Impossible! What? Michael! What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? Thank you for everything. Time machine has finally, she has finally been stopped. You're not, you're not my mom, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. So proud of you, my. Sorry you were alone so long, Arvin. Mom? Threat to time machine detected, threat to time machine detected. What's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? Cannot be. Obstacles preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating paradise protection protocol to remove the offending obstacle? What? Was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs except those registered to Sada's ID. Locking the Pokeballs? Program initializing, get. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. AI Sada disabled. Paradise Protection Protocol.
You are not getting in my way. What? But I don't have any Pokeballs. Am I just gonna get killed by this thing? It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? I guess this is one of those interactive cutscenes. Just keep hitting battle. Some crazy electrical signal is jamming our Pokeballs. Even I can't get them open. That's totally cheating and you call yourself an adult? We have to... We have to run. Running away would put everyone else in danger. It's Pokeball isn't locked? Let's do this. Huh? I don't know how this, this ability works. How does this work? Okay, this probably is the move to use, considering that thing's a dragon type. Ooh, cocky. Collision course. Okay. It changed into its battle form, let's go! That's gonna be resisted, right? And it's not stab, right? My terror type is dragon. Okay. Let's just keep collision coursing. This is very obviously my strongest move. You will fall here within this garden paradise and achieve nothing in the end. If it burns me, that's gonna be really unfair. <laughs> will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goals will be eliminated. Ooh. Looks like it could be bad. Hang in there, Michael. I, I'm not doing. It's Koridon's doing the stuff. I'm gonna try a flamethrower while the sun is still harsh. Data say I'm the superior. Fall and become a foundation upon which my dream may be built. Ooh.
Okay, I should have been collision coursing. <laughs> Is this coded so I can't faint? Oh! Okay! We're getting there, come on! I know it doesn't look good. Michael, your Terra Orb's glowing! Michael, Coridon, terrestrialize and finish this! An Omni Boost. <laughs> I wonder if it's even possible to lose this battle. Terra Blast. Come on, buddy! Yes! Yes! Dragon Terra Blast! Let's go! Oh, she does the faint animation. You did it! It's it's not going berserk anymore? Oh. How very astounding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes. Completely unforeseen outcome. Even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. And on the brink of despair, you children did not give in. Instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves. The courage to hold faith in your hands. In your friends. Fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how difficult your own past may have been. I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose from for yourselves now. Right. Thank you, Michael. Like all of you children. I'm afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Mean. Sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied your freedom. The way that you came together, working in league with your fellows and caring for them. When you sought strength to better yourself, throwing all you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek, nor to fight. Treasure all your own. Ah, the way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I, too, might be as free as you all are. As you all, free to seek out that which I might treasure above all else, not found. Treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. I've made a decision. I will use that time machine to journey to the world of the ancient past that I have dreamed of. What, you can't just leave now? Right when we finally reached you? I'm not going only so that the time... I'm not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that ancient world itself. That's what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of an adventure. Arvin, I'm sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loved you. You can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No? I suppose you're right. Sorry. Arvin, Coridon, Michael. It's a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Mom! Farewell, my free adventurers. Bid you adieu.
could you just go? Marvin? Okay, bud? Somewhere deep down, I... I kind of already knew it. That thing was fake, but it... Said my name using her voice and wearing her face. It was fake. It... It felt real. Oh, and so I just... I. Damn. Alright, I don't know what I'm saying. It's the, okay. It's right on is sad too. Battle form. How cool is that? It's so strong. Oh my god, Nimona. Tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this. I seriously think I'm gonna die. <laughs> You know, let's not skip over the big win here. Michael and Karidon just saved all of Paldea. That's right. Both did amazing. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, that's Bud and Michael for you. No, Arvin. Uh, the professor's gone. Bet she's finally having a real fun adventure of her own in the past. Yeah. Thanks, Penny. Sorry. What should we do now, Michael? Let's go home. Set it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. Oh. That was a lot. I... I feel so bad for Arvin. I know what it's like to lose a parent, but that was like, he kind of lost her twice. What's going on with the game though? Okay, everybody, listen up. Take the long road home. Get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... Great, if we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Michael, not you too. All right, fine, I guess we're doing this. Oh, uh, this is, this is Ed Sheeran. <laughs> I didn't know this was going to be in the game. Okay, well, obviously this will be muted in the video. <laughs> These games obviously have a lot of technical issues, a lot of bugs, a lot of glitches, a lot of lag, a lot of frame rate, stuttering, all that. But this is the best story in any Pokemon game ever. Easily. Like, I know that, like, black and white gets a lot. Black and white is interesting. It's like, ooh. But it's like, it's, and, like, the evil team taking over the Pokemon League, that's a twist, you know? But, like, I cared so much about the characters in this. Like, just the, the leap from Sword and Shield to this in regards to, like, story quality. Because Sword and Shield was like, do the gym challenge. It's cool. Sports. And now the chairman is like trying to reawaken the darkest day and these dogs come out of nowhere to fix it. And he's trying to do that because like we're going to run out of energy in a thousand years. It's like, what is this? But this is like the team star story. I was like team star. That looks stupid. But that it's like a really compelling story about like misfits who were bullied teaming up and and standing up for themselves and then going a little far with it. And then the friend that cares about him trying to bring him back. And then like, you know, the gym challenge is pretty standard, but like the aspect of Nimona 
being a rival that's holding back all the time and just wants someone who can be on her level or even be better than her because she's gets tired of losing like that's that's so com that's that's fascinating that's a much more interesting rival than just i want to be the best is she's like she is the best and she wants someone else to be the best and then like oh and arvin oh my god arvin like anytime he was a jerk i i completely forgiven that poor goo Oh my gosh, he's been through so much. And it's just like, it hits my emotions too, you know? Like, cause I, you know, I lost a parent. And he kind of like, like I said, he it's like he lost her twice. Lost her a long time ago. She stopped responding because it was the AI. And then he has to like, come to terms with the fact that she was like, not the same one the whole time. Like, oh my God. And like, all that stress about trying to save his best friend dog. He's going to have to raise himself. My God. He can, he can be as much of a jerk as he wants. That poor kid is so traumatized. And the fact that like the AI, like, you know, please, like a, a defense will hit, please defeat me. That's like, whoa, like that is, and the, that twist of the professor being dead the whole time and the professor wanting to release all the ancient Pokemon and the AI being like, no, that's wrong. Who I'm based on was wrong. Like the professor, like a noble person, but also so misguided. Like we're basically, we're fighting the prefer. Oh my God. I, oh my gosh. This is, I am in disbelief. I love them so much. <laughs> Can I save the game and go to bed now? <laughs> I'm supposed to wake up early and work out tomorrow.